Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to talk about this guy, the Emperor Angelfish. Um, I got this guy about a month ago. It came in kind of pale and a little skinny from Life Aquarius Diver Stain. Um, it was not looking the best. It was. It had a little blemish and was actually discounted. Um, but after like a couple months of rehab and a really heavy feeding, right now as you can see, it's actually quite plump. And if you look closely, you can see some speckles of gold coming in on the bottom of the dorsal fin. Um, so the Emperor Angel, actually that's a very good view right there. So the Emperor Angels, um, this is their juvenile color, just kind of blue and white. And as they get older and become too mature, you will start seeing speckles of gold and yellow, as you see right here, um, starting from the top of the back and grow towards the bottom and this circular pattern will all straight out into a horizontal linear pattern. Um, I have not seen too many emperor angels um, that have grown more than a foot in the captivity barring public aquariums. I know that they can get up to like a foot and a half in the wild and they have really long streamers. I still don't understand um, what's the differences between you know, the Indian Ocean type and the uh, um, indo pack type, but uh, they, they do seem to have a slight different coloration and uh, body body shape. I don't know what where this guy is from, but I'm really interested to find out, number one, how big will grow into this 550 gallon, and number two, what kind of color pattern. And also, I'm not so sure about sexing them. So if any one of you who have uh, a, um, a lot of experience with Emperor Angel and know about sexing, please comment below, uh, let us know, you know, happy to learn about them. Um, so anyways, they're not completely reef safe. Right now, and fingers crossed, it is not touching any of my corals as it is heavily fed, but I know a lot of the Emperor Angels in other people's tank have the ability and is more than willing to devour the LPS, um, clams, even down to SPS. As you can see, I have a lot of corals and larger clams here. So I hopefully that day doesn't come as I keep it happy and well fed here. Um, but you never know, sometimes a fish can just turn in a snap of the finger just like that. I do already have a, um, this lemon peel angel and previously a flame angel in here for quite a while and none of them have ever um, caused any nuisance to coral. If anything, the only thing that has been um, harming the coral in this entire tank is the Aptasia filefish, uh, Aptasia eating filefish, and that fish um, actually ate all of my Micromusa or Aiken Lord um, as they're traditionally called. Uh, look view right here so the emperor angel is actually not a shy fish at all well it may be shy in the beginning um for a couple of weeks but uh, after a while it really opens up and swimming in the, in the open i think one of my previous videos um i've talked about how the first day when i added in the powder blue tang over here this guy was really aggressive towards emperor angel um, probably because of the similar um coloration but that aggression only lasts for a couple hours. Um, number one, Emperor Angel is almost the same size, if not almost a little bit larger than the Powder Blue. And number two, they're you know ultimately just not even the same genus. So they just kind of ignore each other for the most part. You know, once in a while they get into a squabble when I feed or if they're chasing after a certain piece of food. But for the most part, the Angel kind of um, stand its own ground right now, and it's actually pretty well established in this tank. I have not observed where it sleeps in the night, but most of my larger fish all sleep in that cave um, in the evenings. Diet for an Emperor Angel, honestly, anything that you feed all of your tank, um, they have a very varied diet. They're omnivores. Um, for the most part, in the wild, they're vegetarian. They pick on algae a lot, but they also eat um, plankton. Um, they will eat, like I said, corals, um, crustaceans and um, a lot of the mollusk, you know, bivalves, they'll, they'll eat them. Um, but um, at home, 
I just feed them a mixture of my shrimp. Um, I grind down some shrimp, I grind down some squid, and I grind down some clams, uh, uh, oysters, um, for them to eat. So they're very happily fed, and so far doing so good. So if you are looking to keep an emperor angel, I personally would recommend probably 200 gallons or above, just because it eventually does get pretty big. And um, you know, be very cautious about keeping corals and clams with them. Like I say, they can be okay. You know, they're well fed, but there's no guarantee. Um, they're definitely not 100% reef safe. So far, all my angel fish are doing well in this tank just because they're all being fed very well. So um, make sure you have a strong filtration system because you will be feeding them a lot. They will beg you like this, so <laughs> you may feed them a few times a day, and uh, as you know, that will pollute your tank pretty fast. So um, that's all about it. Uh, that's all I I want to talk about in Angel today. You know, leave a comment if you have any further questions or if you want to discuss it some more. Happy to provide a little bit more context and more knowledge, share my knowledge and experiences with them. Thank you again for tuning in, and I'll talk to you soon.